Get him out, that's the question. Oh yeah, a little red on, yes. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it. We're gonna, we're gonna just go and cake it, okay? So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm going to skip it right underneath there, because they're all the way in that other corner. So if I can get this up underneath there and just let it sit for a minute, I might be able to hook into um, one of these reds, because you know, I just lubed it up with uh, blue crab. So let's see what happens. patient <coughs> because I might spook them a little bit. Oh yeah baby. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now can I get them out? That's the question. Oh yeah, got a little red up. Yes. <laughs> That's exciting guys. Yes. Yes. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Oh he's got a pretty tail. See that? He liked that little pumpkin goby. Man, he is cold. He is cold. Go on, look at him. Yes. <laughs> nice. There we go. Pretty little red fish, huh? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, buddy. Just a reminder, this time of year, with it being so cold, they are uh, not as quick to and, and as aggressive, right? So by throwing that up in there, just let it sit. Because again, redfish, you know, they're, they're more bottom feeders, they use their scent, whereas trout tend to be more aggressive, more territorial. Um, by letting it sit, right? Right underneath that there knowing that they're up underneath there waiting for this tide to change right so they're up there waiting for the tide to change and by being patient and just letting it sit there and the redfish are kind of just underneath there and they smell that blue crab and that's why we use this right here my pro cure right there right the blue crab they love blue crab um, some other videos you've seen where I've used actual blue crab so anyways let's see if we can get another one right here we go let's go even if I just catch one redfish for the day, that just makes my day. Redfish, I just love redfish. Okay, so let's see if we can skip this up underneath here. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we got exactly where we want it. Exactly where we want it. Yeah, look at that. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Beautiful. Huh? Look at that redfish. Gorgeous. <laughs> That's exciting, man. Love it. Love it. That is good stuff. That is good stuff. Huh? Isn't that exciting? That's good stuff right there. That is good stuff. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him up here. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. You're tired. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Fish. And again, got him on the pumpkin goby. Yeah, look at that. Nice, huh? That's 
So just a beautiful redfish. Got the two spots. Yep, absolutely gorgeous. Again, another redfish. He's not too bad. He's, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go give him a measure. Let's see where he is. He's not too bad. Not too bad. So, pinch tail. He's uh, about 17 and a half inches. 17 and a half inches. Nice fish. And again, that's where I was just patient. I kind of walked along the dock and kind of found out where he was. He's gone. He's out of here. is um, you know, the other side here. Let's see if we can still see them up underneath there. Because usually when it starts, tide starts chaining, they roll out of there. So let's see what they're doing. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it. I just came down to the boat to, to put some decals um, you know, on my boat to, to update it for DNR and everything. Um, but anyways, quick shout out to Daniel Utley who gave that tip on uh, one of my videos, one of his comments. He made the comment about, you know, tossing, uh, casting out and just letting it sit there for a little bit and let them kind of come to it, right? And that's something I, I tried today where I was underneath the dock. I knew they were there and rather than doing a bunch of casts up underneath there and spooking them all uh, out of there, what it did is I, I put a bunch of Procure and again, since redfish, uh, they're more scent uh, and they bottom feed. so by casting up in there and just letting it sit there and letting that little pumpkin goby just kind of sit up and work its way back and forth. And then you had the, the blue crab uh, procure. They were able to come up and find it. I only caught a couple redfish, but hey, I came down to put a decal on the boat and uh, caught some redfish and, and had a good time. So anyways, it was a short video, but thanks for watching. Saltwater Jack out.